watching Amador County's number one news and sports leader, TSPN. Hi, Amador County. This is Sue Slavik along with Rich Hoffman, and we are here inside the clubhouse of the Jackson Rancheria RV Park. Rich, what a glorious day, and the place is absolutely beautiful. Well, first of all, we're really happy to have you here, and it's always great to see you. Uh, it's a beautiful winter's day. It, it, it is. The sun's shining, and this place is absolutely packed with people. And inside, i got to tell you, before Rich talks, inside there's a kind of a group activity going on. And uh, if I could say, it looks like the uh, kitchen store is in there, and they're giving a talk to, I think, a lot of the people maybe that are here, the visitors, and they're sharing all kinds of great knickknacks and stuff and gadgets for your RV. So I love that. This is a wonderful facility. Tell us about what they'll find when they're in here. Well, uh, there's this sitting area, which has a nice hearth and uh, is a nice place to just to stretch out and enjoy uh, being out of the weather a little bit. Uh, we have uh, uh, the facility right next to us where the people are talking is a clubhouse area where groups can get together and do potlucks. It's supported by a, a full kitchen that they have access to or we could cater the event if they so desired. So it's a great place for, for groups to meet. RVers travel in groups a lot so it's a great place for everybody to get together. And you know one thing too is when RVers travel they often and when they're in groups they often have a, a kind of a, an event or an activity coordinator so this would be a perfect place to do some of those activities and those people usually call ahead find out what's going on and they could put on different things besides their own potlucks and games they can have speakers come in and share interesting things about the community a little history too and great products and this is a game table and there's just kind of a, another place to relax here yeah, so uh, th that group leader, traditionally called the Wagon Master. The Wagon Master. Yeah, ap approaches our, our staff here. And, you know, we have a, a full uh, complement of opportunities for them, uh, not only to take advantage of the casino and other resort features here, but things in our neighborhood. Uh, and just like our merchants downtown, uh, we'd like to make those connections. So. And the wineries, I think there's even buses that take the people out to the wineries and ladies shopping to downtown, you know, to Sutter Creek Jack or wherever the people want to go shopping. So where do you want to go from here? You want to go out there? You want to head out there? Where would you like to go? Why don't we, uh, why don't we try and follow the path of your typical visitor? Why don't we go to the office first and check in and see how all that works? Leave it to him to keep me on track. Let's go. We're here inside the office where people check in. And what else goes on in here besides the smell of some wonderful popcorn? I bet that's available for the guests, too. Well, this is our first personal contact with the with the guests. So, you know, we pay a lot of attention to starting their experience off uh, right here. So they pull up, they come in, check in, and get, get all organized. We also offer some sundry items here if they happen to have forgotten something, ice. We give them some complimentary popcorn, make the experience good. We also have our uh, full service general store that's just a mile down the road, so and they can pick up anything else they need there. Um, we uh, let them know about the activities here on the Rancheria, how the free shuttle works to the casino, uh, what other opportunities are around locally, and uh, start them on their trip. The next stop from here is they go to our dump station. And they dump before they actually camp here. Yeah, because when they get here, they hook up to our sewer system, so we don't want any formaldehyde in that system. So our staff does it for them. They just pull up to the little shed. Our staff uh, dumps them. And then we give them uh, some greener chemicals to put in their system that work with our, our uh, uh, wastewater system. Perfect. I love that. You're thinking all the way through. That's right. That's yeah. Right. You know, the facility is so beautiful. The wood trim, everything you've done here is just in the best of taste. It's a, it's a delight to be here. I feel like I'm at a four-star hotel. Well, my dad always said, anything worth doing is worth doing right. So, And, and the tribe certainly are uh, disciples of that and advocates of that. So uh, everything here is, is hand done by us and uh, first quality from the uh, the structures here to the pool we'll go visit and one of our most popular features I'll take you out to in just a second. Oh boy, let's go. Well now we're poolside. Let's tell the viewers everything that this uh, 
place has to offer. She put some suntan lotion on on this uh, February day. Can you believe this? This is, it's February what, 17th, 2012, and look at this weather. It is absolutely beautiful. Things are budding out. I mean, we've got, it's like an early spring. Not a bad day to, to relax by the pool or maybe hit the jacuzzi. That's right, you got two yeah. jacuzzis, one for you, one for me. Yeah, and we've got a full uh, uh, bathroom and shower facility just uh, right near the pool. So sometimes, you know, you're in an RV, it's a little cramped, you want to take a nice long shower. And so, so we have a full facility here. Also, for uh, groups just on the other side of that wall, we have a full uh, barbecue area too for Ooh. people to take advantage of if they're doing a nice group barbecue. And that's where the wagon master can make more of those plans. Right, you can do the barbecue. There's a huge lawn just on, mm -hmm. uh, just to the uh, east of us here that can be utilized for outdoor uh, picnic type mm -hmm. events or to set uh, tents up uh, right. for uh, uh, some type of trade show or something like that. Okay. So there's a lot of utility here. Oh, that's awesome. And again, that's what all these different groups, if they come, or even just a group of uh, 10 couples, because I know my girlfriend, she actually lives in Pine Grove, and she, for one New Year's, they booked themselves about 10 or 12 of them up here. And so some of the friends from out of the area and up here, they all congregated here, and they took the shuttle. They had a marvelous time. Now, I'll tell you, it's the, the hyper amenitized nature of the park that got us, you know, listed within the top five the top five RV parks in the in the nation by Good mm -hmm. Sam's, but what I hear about the most is every time I talk to somebody about the RV park, your staff. Oh, yeah. Well. So you know, and, and you just nobody can duplicate our people that we have here. I agree. I agree. Um, one thing. A lot of the viewers that are going to see this are live here locally, but so many of our friends and family that come up here have big rigs or they a couple come up or several come up for maybe a family reunion or a wedding and they want to RV it. That, that would be a good thing to book ahead of time and let your family and friends from out of the area know what a great facility this is and to be sure to book that ahead of time. Yeah, it definitely suggest that. It's one of the, uh, I think it was... Uh, uh, Barra, Yogi Barra, who said this place used to be popular until it got so crowded. <laughs> but but that that is, you know, something to consider. I mean, today's it's the middle of February, it's the middle of winter, and today we're standing here 100% occupied. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, you do need to think ahead, mm -hmm. get those reservations. You know, the, the cost isn't prohibitive. I mean, our, our rates are like a start at $40 mm -hmm. to stay here mm -hmm. for the night. So, all the amenities, the location uh, don't cost, uh, we don't charge a premium for that. But it does book up fast. It does. It does. And the shuttle service to the casino for dining, for entertainment, for gambling, for whatever. Uh, it's, it's awesome being able to get shuttled up there. It's all, it's all free of charge. Yeah. We also have, you know, our on-site security that patrols the park regularly. We don't have really, we've never had any problems here. But, you know, for, for some people that provides a little additional mm -hmm. peace of mind that, you know, 24 hours a day there's somebody here that's, mm -hmm. that's helping to take care of them. So um, what more could you ask for? That's right. Okay, well, Tommy's uh, got a lot of shots. Uh, let's over there because I want to show you how many people are here again in February. It's amazing. All right, now we're headed, uh, the pool's on that side and we're kind of headed down this so manicured everything is so manicured they're doing some more work over here to just make everything beautiful so we're headed over to the dog park the dog park yes uh, we, the dog park you'll see uh, one of our most popular features a lot of people like to travel with their dogs and uh, we we built a little park that has one section for small dogs and one section for larger dogs so you don't have to worry about your little uh, Pekingese being eaten by a mastiff Pekingese is the most popular dog they just had Westminster whatever they have in New York I guess they had whatever and that is the most popular dog I mean that one I think the dog that you have is the most popular dog that's right yeah. that's right the one that you have a fire hydrant to boot <laughs> yes yeah so they feel at home mm -hmm. yeah city dogs can feel at home here with the fire hydrant well this is really nice for for folks to be able to have a facility like this and again small dogs and, uh, and big dogs all fenced in you don't have to feel like the dog's going to take off but tell, let's talk about this setting this is kind of in the middle of the whole ranch isn't it are we placed about in 
midway in the middle of this place? Yeah, right, right in the center of our 1,500 acres. Uh, the, the site was carved kind of off the top of a mountain. So as we go to the RV park, you'll notice that you got practically 360 degree views of the treetops surrounding us. And it's a great thing, especially for uh, people who have satellite dishes because they don't have any problem getting the reception of the southern sky. Because really at a lot of campgrounds, you, you just can't if you're, if you're down low. I like the feeling of being up here. There's, there's a spirit of uh, openness when you're sitting at the top there uh, amongst the RVs. Absolutely, and 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 you know the only um, the only thing we're waiting for is the the trees that we planted to grow up a little bit, but um, other than that, it's the perfect setting. I like it. I feel like I'm on top of the world. Absolutely. Well, you are. I am. Where to now? Let's go take a look at the park itself. Okay, let's head over there. I love the fencing here. Well, that's the shuttle we talked about. These people are probably just getting back from the casino. Yeah, so regular uh, intervals to and from the RV park. Uh, they'll even spin uh, a run right through the middle of the RV park, so you don't have to walk all the way to your uh, RV. All right, and as it swings around, we are able to see the, I guess this is the main drag. Yeah, this is uh, the RV park central. Uh, they're basically three legs that go throughout the RV park but it's a pretty uh, uh, pretty simple layout the, th the thing that uh, is uh, really nice about this park not only is there grass between each spot but the spots are extra wide and most of them are pull through so people who they don't have to be concerned about having to back their RV up in their spot they just pull around and they pull straight in and then when they leave they pull straight out and it's it's very simple um, you've got some good size units here, some 45-footers. I mean, isn't that the, the max on some of those big diesel haulers? Yeah, I mean, we, we see everything here from, uh, you know, little, little tent trailers to the, the uh, yeah, nearly you know, six-figure, you know, the middle right. six-figure RVs, some approaching a million-dollar RVs. So there's a gamut there. So are, in some parks I know uh, throughout the country, you have to have a certain age, like it can't be older than so many years. Do you have any restrictions like that? We, we try and, you know, keep the park as clean as possible. Uh, we, we don't want RVs that are uh, uh, leaking or, or anything like that. So we, we do a little check, but, uh, you know, we, we try not to, uh, to prejudge, you know, uh, who, who our guests are. I mean, we just saw a beautiful That's vintage beautiful, RV Tommy. pull That's in. Awesome. You know, if you had some arbitrary um, uh, formula in place, they might not uh, oh, no, make the cut, but what, who more would you want in your park than that guy? I know. Yeah. Okay, let's head out over here. Well, we ran into a couple of cute little dogs and some good-looking guys. <laughs> it's Mike and Jeff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like Mike and Jeff. Yeah, something like that, exactly. <laughs> and you're from Roseville, yeah, not from far. Roseville. Right, oh, not far at all. So, uh, Rich is uh, walking around with me. We're just kind of doing a tour. We just love this place. And what brought you up here? Uh, usually we come up here once a year with a group of friends. Um, we've been up here several times, and it's actually nice. It's close to home, and uh -huh. it's fun. So you're only talking maybe 45 minutes, an hour drive? At the most, yeah. Okay, and can I ask what kind of vehicle did would you come up in? Uh, uh, Motorhome. A motorhome. Yeah. Okay. And how many in your party? How many vehicles? Uh, there's 39. Oh, come on. 39 units here. Today? Yeah. This weekend? Yeah, this weekend. Is this an annual? Yeah, it's an annual get-together that okay. we have. Um, we usually have a dinner at the um, okay. club down and there. Just what you... Yeah, a place for groups to get together. And, you know, we find that, you know, we get a lot of groups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome, yeah, awesome. So, um, as far as the dogs go, I mean, did you guys know that there's such some dog yeah. things back there too? Yeah, we've been to the dog park. So it feels like a real dog-friendly mm -hmm. place, yeah. so it doesn't inhibit people from bringing their dogs. Right, and exactly. And that's an, an important part of your travels. I yes, think. it is. Very important. Right. Dogs go everywhere. So, your plans, are you going to go uh, just check out the community and see what goes on and hang loose or just kind of camp around and visit with each other? Um, Kind of a little bit of everything. Okay. Um, tonight's the seafood buffet that we like to hit on Fridays. So you've got at the it casino. all mapped out. Oh, Tell yeah, me anything exactly. else I should know about in case I, when I come here, is there something I should make sure I don't miss? Oh wow, it's all, it's all just fun. It's, it's relaxing. 
It's a relaxing is. place. It's very friendly. It's very, very nice place friendly. here. Okay, that's what we hear. Well, thank you for sharing with us and the dog's names. It's Coco. Hey, Coco. Hey, are you okay? Okay. I don't know. What kind of dog is that? Can't believe it. The King Charles. A King Charles. Oh, yeah. You both of them. I didn't mean not to mention you. The coat on this one looks like a, a beautiful. Yes, oh. A chocolate cocker. A chocolate cocker. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you know we're talking about you. Well, have a wonderful time. And thank, thank you. you so much for sharing. Thank you. Thank 39 you. of you. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Well, that was fun meeting those folks. Yeah, and typical of our, our guests here at the RV park. You know, a lot of them travel in groups. So, again, you know, we'd like to get people to call uh, far enough ahead of time so they can get a get a spot definitely and a uh, friends with 39 different a group with 39 different rigs uh you definitely need reservations in advance and it's an annual trip for them yeah and we're finding people you know they're booking for next year on their way out well what's so nice you know really it's february but 35 40 minutes you're at the ski resorts you know, you're so close to so many things at this central point right here in Jackson. Yeah, and you'd be amazed at how many visitors we have from, uh, like our uh, the people we just spoke with, from Roseville, from Sacramento, from the Valley, from the Bay Area. You know, with gas prices, what they are, you know, you don't want to travel across country and spend hundreds of dollars, but you have this huge investment in an RV, you want to use it. So, you know, you get an hour outside of where you're living, you're away. You're in the mountains. It's a, it's a it's a great place to come. That's it's close right. by. It is, and you know, as if we can pan over here, people are always. I see that they're so often the dogs are all relaxed and people are fussing with their gear, getting their stuff organized, set in place. Look at these these two beautiful dogs, and this gorgeous rig. Now that's quite a setup there. Absolutely yes, and there's one who uh, fusses with their gear continuously. I can appreciate uh, oh, how, how this all works. It's amazing, uh, you know. And I, you know, you could really do a show and showcase the different styles of rigs and what people do when they get out here and how they relax and what draws them to, you know, camp like this in a big hotel room like that. Yeah, I'm. I, I have a standing order. Uh, with the staff here that if we ever have a bunch of Airstreams come in, they have to call me because I'm a huge Airstream fan. Yeah. Yeah. Rich, let's talk about some of the other amenities and, and features that you have here. Well, we're, we're situated on, on 11 acres. The park makes up 11 acres, so it's a large park, and we've been walking across it, and we haven't got to the other end yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, strategically located throughout the park are restroom and shower facilities, so people don't have to go all the way back to the clubhouse for those. Uh, there's a nice walking trail that encircles the entire park that's uh, nice and level and, and easy to uh, walk on so people can get some exercise. It's not a bad walk down the store and back down Dalton Road. Mm -hmm. We find people doing that uh, frequently. So, um, you know, a lot of extra stuff here. And again, as you mentioned, we're close, we're right in the middle of everything, whether it's antique shopping down in, down in Jackson or the, the fishing at the local lakes here or uh, mountain activities like skiing and hiking. We're right in the middle of it all. Mm -hmm. And behind us is one of the enclosed or protected uh, shuttle areas so people can sit and wait. How often do the shuttles come through here? Or do you order them? You call and order you can, them? You can call and have one come uh, uh, as soon as they can get here. But I think they're on 20-minute uh, rotations okay. through throughout the park. So. Wow, it's such a relaxed atmosphere up here. Like I was saying, how many people, they're fussing with their vehicle. Look at this, the guy's got like a 10-foot ladder just to get to the midway part of, you know. I mean, it's amazing. The People just kind of hang out. When Tom and I camp, that's what we do. We're splitting wood or we're just kind of fussing. And it's part of that whole relaxed atmosphere. And this is, you just feel like you're on top of the world out here. It's clear. It's beautiful. little breeze. It's just delightful. Well, it's a, it's a great day, and uh, everybody's welcome. Okay. All right, well, we've got a couple more stops, so follow us. What'd you say? I have to get a blackjack to win one of those necklaces to win money. Oh, I get it. I get it. Well, hey, you know, Rich, right? Hey. This is one of the Hello, top Mr. ten Rob. in the nation. We love it. Here. As RV parks go. <laughs> yeah. So you go to a lot of RV parks, you love this one. This, this is, is the, the best. best. This, this is yeah. the best. This is what? This is one of the best RV parks in the nation. Awesome. This is our very favorite one. Yeah. So, really? Yes, and we're in an RV group, and we come here a lot. Well, tell me about your RV group. Where are you from? We're from Folsom. 
Oh, you're California. so close again. But the We're RV started in Sacramento. Okay. And we're from and they're from all over. And Placid, but we blocked the rest Sacramento River Buns, which goes 150 miles uh, around Sacramento maximum. So that's why we come here a lot because this is so perfect and so close. How many people, how many groups, or how many in your group this time? We only, well, we're just here a few of us okay. by ourselves, but okay. we, we had 25 members and I think we're down to about 16 now. Okay. <laughs> Isn't it great? What is it that, what, what is it that, she's so cute. What is it that you like about the park? What especially stands out for you? Uh, the employees are all very helpful. They're wonderful. And the and setting is beautiful. We love it. We just love the setting. Plus we like people. And the and setting is beautiful. We love it. We just love the setting. Plus, we like we really do like the casino. So you headed headed over to the little shut the place there to catch the shuttle, or what? Oh, what's your what's your tab? Okay. Oh, absolutely. Right okay. We take the shuttle yeah. all the time. Pick us up right here. We don't have to go over there. It will pick us up right here. Oh, yep. so are you right at because, our because you're a regular and they know that you're preferred? No, that's what the shuttle does. They just make it really easy for you. Very easy. Food's good there too. And the food's good. What is it that you like about what food? Is it a I, buffet? Is that what just? I like uh, the breakfast because I like oh, the, the omelets. Omelet yeah. The omelet station. So what kind of omelet do you get? Just anything? And, uh, yeah, it? they've got a guy. He's there every time we're there, and he makes the best omelet. He'll put whatever you want on it, and you can't even eat the whole thing. It's and the huge. Right. And the price. And incidentally, why are you doing the women so much? I'm better looking than these gals. Jeez. So Get tell me here. about you and your Don't buddies. Get my hat now. This so, is my German short hair hunting at Comanche Hills. Oh, so you're a real regular to our community from Placerville. Oh, yeah, Just yeah. a stone's throw down 49. Hey, this is the best park. It's rated in, in the top 10 in the nation. How do you know so much? Do you, so we, do you we work We get here? flyers and we get information you in do. the mail. Yeah. Right. And there's well, nothing like it. The sites are level. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you, the jacks are used minimally. Uh, that the really people helps nice. on oh, your setup, isn't it? The people are nice. Uh, and I like the way they drain your tank first and they give you the chemicals so everything is status quo with, with the sewer responsibilities that he has, this guy. And, uh, and we like everything about it because it's uh, just so handy. Well, we're glad you came to Amateur County. You know, we live here but, and we love to hear people, you know, my kid lives right near you down. Plasterville, El Dorado area, yeah. you know, it's nice, short drive. But it's neat that you're up here. Which is your rig? That one, okay. the big one. And are all these three ladies camping with you? No. Oh, yeah. No, he can only handle one. That's, That's his harem. This, oh, his, you're with him. Yes. And you're over here? Our rig is right there. Okay, and you're over here. Oh, and who's this cute guy? My honey, Alex. Can I say hello to you, sir? Now, I'm Susie, the TV I'm lady Susie. here. You're a good-looking guy. Oh, well, thank you. Hey, now, uh, this is your rig here that you've been pulling, and you put a bra on it, a kind of a plastic. Yeah. Uh, you take really good care of your stuff, don't you? Well, we... Try to, Can I yes. Ask what you did for a living or do for a living? I worked for a telecommunications company. See, you know, electronics, all that kind of stuff. You guys keep your stuff in order, clean and neat and tidy. Yeah, that's the best way to do it so you're not scrambling around trying to look for things. That's right. And the rigs here, you know, it's a relaxed setting. And I like what he said about you don't really need to level with use the leveling jacks because everything's pretty clean and stable that's correct it is pretty level in all the sites here and that's why we come here we awesome. really enjoy it all right well thank you for sharing enjoy your You're stay welcome. Nice to meet you. all right lots of nice people well we found your better half thank you you were getting your bike out now tell me where you'll ride your bike just anywhere around here just around the road or we go down on the path around the park right there's yeah. a walking path and you can right. actually at Maybe you even go down to the general store if you want. You could, you know, yes. I just notice there's not really any bumps, you know, speed there's, bumps. No, no, no speed bumps. So that's really nice, especially when you ride your bike and going through the park with a motorhome. Exactly. Yeah, yeah I don't like it's this. a great place to ride. Well, nice to meet you, nice. and uh, yeah, it's nice you guys support our troops. And yeah. thank you. Enjoy your stay. We what will. Thank friendly you people. Much. Okay. Thank you. We, thank Rich you. and I are going to head out and talk to some more people. All right. Well, we're going to wrap it up here at the Jackson Rancheria RV Park on this glorious February day in 2012. And uh, I guess we're going to make our exit. All good things come to an end. They must come to an end, Susie. But uh, the great thing is, tomorrow's another day. It is. So make your way up here. Get your friends and family and yourselves up here and make reservations and make this your second home. It's a great place. This is Sue Slavik along with my friend Rich Hoffman saying thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.